Yeah, Mass Effect, Bioshock, COD 4, Assassin's Creed, Uncharted. Is this the first one? TFT. Ooh. TF2 is... Halo 3. Halo 3 dropped here. I don't think I ever played it until, like... I played Halo 3, like, right before Halo 4 came out. That's the first time I ever played it. And fell in love with this whole series after that. Spider-Man 3. Uh, I don't think I ever played this one. The only Spider-Man game I played was Spider-Man 1. Like, the first one, whenever you first got the powers and you were, like, doing all the wrestling stuff and everything. Like, I played that one on PS2. God of War 2. I never played God of War until, like, a couple years ago. Portal, Witcher, Command and Conquer, Stranglehold, Heavenly Sword, Ratatouille. Oh my god, bro. Yo. Chat, have y'all seen the amount of hours I put into Super Mario Galaxy? Bro, y'all would have thought I was a speedrunner or some shit, bro. I played this game through so many fucking times. Oh my god, bro. And there was only one time in all of my runs on Mario Galaxy that I actually got every single star. That shit took me so long. And on Simpsons, Stalker, Lego Star Wars, Crisis Core, Cam Lynch, Crisis. Crisis is good. I have a, I have the first one, like the remastered one. I'm going I'm to play that pretty soon. Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus. I still never played a Kingdom Hearts game in my life. I'll get to it eventually. Darkness. Does that say Heroin Hero? <laughs> what the fuck? Frederick Fall dropped the same year that Spider Man 3 dropped? That's crazy. Oh, Lost Odyssey. Let me again. Will Kanye drop Vultures too? No. I got to think of 3 Oh shit, what did I got to think of 3 dropped in 2007 too? He had a Ghost Rider game? Tekken 6. I'm almost positive I... Oh, no, no, no. I think it was Tekken, like, 3 or 4. It, they had it in the arcade at the skating rink I always went to. Mario and Sonic Olympic Games? I dropped in 2007? I was on this shit heavy, too. I was on this shit heavy. Ratchet and Clank. Another Kingdom Heart. God damn, man. The hell did... He was dropping shit. That's a comp top 50 list, though. I'm not going to lie yet. So that's, 2007 was really good for movies and shit, too, though. 2007 was really good for movies and shit, too. Far Cry 3. Far Cry 3 is really good, and I've heard nothing but good things about the Walking Dead Telltale series. I still haven't played through the entire thing. I think, like, I get past episode... I get past, like, the first part of episode one, and I'm just like, all right, bro, I can't do this shit no more. Like, like dead ass. Like, it, it's like I'm watching a movie, but then, like, I just can't sit there forever and, like, watch the movie. I don't know. But I like games like Until Dawn and, like, The Quarry and stuff, so, like, it is kind of weird why I can't sit through this. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm just, like, waiting for it to get to the point. Um, Black Ops 2. Having both of those over Black Ops 2, though, is kind of crazy, but personal taste, I guess. Um, I played Mass Effect 3, I played Sleeping Dogs, okay, now we're getting into that bag of like, okay, I, I, I was, I was gaming pretty heavy around this time, so I have played a lot of these games on this list, Max Wayne 3, I played a little bit, I played Borderlands 2 an unhealthy amount of times, Assassin's Creed 3 was really good, DLC was even better, Dishonored, I hated Dishonored, I don't like, uh, stealth games, I'm sure if I played it now, I would, like, probably feel a little different about it, but I, I don't like playing stealth games, so I, me and Dishonored didn't really have a great relationship when I played it. Uh, Lollipop well, Chainsaw, they're remaking that. Or remastering it. Resident Evil 6. Nope, don't remember. Didn't play it. Hitman hey, Absolution played that. That was good. Halo 4. Uh, I think that's, it might be an underrated take, but I really, 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 really like Halo 4. Like, I think it's a top 3 Halo, in my opinion, that I've ever played. Um... I don't know if I could do a Halo tier list. I I that probably I'd have to do that later. Like, if I if my Master Chief collection ever decides to work. Spec Ops: The Line. Is that game that has a that's like the that shit's kind of like Army of Two, right? Like this shit. Lego Batman Two Superheroes Persona Four. I never played Persona before. Diablo Three. Mm, I don't think I ever played Diablo Three, but Diablo Four is really good. 
Like, I really like Diablo 4. So, I, I wouldn't mind going back and playing this one. Uh, amazing Spider Man. No, never played it. Fall of Cybertron? I think this is the one I played. I think. Oh, yeah, looking at the cover, yeah, yeah, this is the one. This shit is amazing. Hope I, I just pray for the day that we can remake the fucking Transformers games. So, hopefully, like, after the Transformers and G.I. Joe movie, hopefully that does good, good enough for them to make a game, and it plays like this. Dude, that's all I want, bro. Literally, that's all I want. Euro Truck Simulator. I didn't even know they were making simulator games back then. That's fucking insane. Hollow Miami, Epic Mickey. I played the first Epic Mickey game. I didn't play this one. Guild Wars, Tapped Out, Monsters. Oh, I played this. This was... I didn't really have a whole lot of knowledge other than Street Fighter 4. And I think Street Fighter 3. But then, like, I realized later that that didn't have anything to do with that. But at the time, I thought it did. That's why I was like, oh, shit, uh, uh, Dragon Dog. Oh, I just played this earlier this year, Dragon Dog 1. I didn't know it came out in 2012. It was, it was ahead of its time for sure, though. Oh, my gosh, what? And Dragon Dog 2 is amazing. Best game I ever played this year. Unless Elden Ring DLC counts. Ghost Recon Future. I hated Ghost Recon as a kid because it was too tactical. I don't like tactical games. Back then. Now I'm kind of like, alright, I can get in that tactical bag. I didn't have a bag for that back then. So I did, I was like, dude, why the fuck can I just run in and just kill everything? Like, it wasn't, it's not like that. Arm City Harlequin's Revenge? I don't think I ever played this. I don't think I ever played the DLC for uh, Arkham City. I didn't know they had DLC. CSGO. I don't know what the fuck they... They... I... I don't even think they realized what they started whenever they dropped this shit. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D. Yep, never seen it. Never played it. Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans dropped in 2012? Damn, I feel like I played that shit in like 2015. Twisted Metal. Nope, never played it. I saw the show though. The show was pretty good. Path of Exile. I heard this just had a resurgence. Like, Path of Exile is like getting really good now. I did not know they had multiplayer. Like, PvP. Path Effects, uh, apparently, there's a lot of people playing it now. Oh, okay. I can already tell just based off the first games on the list, 2018 got some hits on them. Okay. Okay. And this is like one of the last years of PS4, so... Damn, they definitely went out with a bang. Holy shit, they haven't missed yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Got Red Dead, God of War, Spider-Man, Detroit Become Human, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Far Cry 5... Shout out to Tomb Raider. I didn't play this one. This is the, so far, this is the first one I haven't played. Smash Ultimate. Way Out. Among Us. Walking Dead Final Season. Holy shit. Battlefield. Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 was a miss, but if you strip everything away and only look at the gameplay, it was actually, like, I was about to, I was about to say something crazy. I was about to say it was top 5. It was not top 5. But it was, um, it was pretty good for uh, Call of Duty standards. Black Ops standards, it was still lacking. Life is Strange 2, Shadow Colossus. I've heard good things about this game. I never... No, not this one. I played uh, Shadows of Mordor. I think that's what it's called. Hades, fucking banger. Holy shit. I, I still haven't played Halo, uh, Hades 2, but... um, Yeah, first one is really good. Hitman 2. Uh, I think the only Hitman game I played was Hitman 3, I think. But now they're all, like, fused into one game, so... I guess I could pl technically play it. Fallout 76 was extremely underrated when it first came out. I was one of the only people that said this game didn't suck when it came out. Because unlike everyone else, I actually played it. And I was like, dude, this game does not suck. But everybody was all like, eh, uh, uh, this game, this isn't real Fallout. FIFA 19, alright, obviously. Forza 4, Subnautica. I've heard great things about Subnautica. I play this shit and I get extremely bored. I don't know why. Subnautica makes me want to fall asleep. Oh, the city that never sleeps, Kingdom Come Deliverance. I think the second one is gonna be really good. The first one doesn't really look that good. I wanted to go back and play the first one, but like this shit didn't look that good to me. I don't know. Maybe maybe like actually playing it will change my opinion. I don't know. Spyro. Oh my god, bro. Spyro games were so tough back in the day. Look at these super villains. Kind of spirit, Chris. See at these. See at these came out in 2018. Loki thought the shit came out in 2020. I'm not gonna lie, but uh. That's good, though. Just Cause 4, that was really good. 
Monster Hunter World. This is my first Monster Hunter game too, and I fuck with Monster Hunter like heavy. This is my this is my introduction to the series. So this one will always be like one of my favorites. The Force is pretty good. It's kind of weird in VR, but like just standard wise for like what it is survival crafting based it's it's actually pretty decent and it gets really really deep like the further you go into the game i didn't get that deep in it though dark Mode fighters this is my favorite fighting game of all time 2d fighter like this is my favorite one pubg mobile amazing mobile game top five mobile game like amazing mm. what is this on switch i think i have this super mario party i'm pretty sure i have this game we could probably play it on stream. Uh, one day. I don't know. Uh, Mario Party games tend to last kind of long, though. So we need to make sure that we have, like, nothing else going on. we we'll just do it at the end of the stream. Uh, Batman Arkham Collection. Arkham Knight is the only miss here. To, be, to me, though. To me, though. I just didn't like all the car missions. And, it was, like, them shits just... I, I ain't fuck with the car missions. Other than that, though, it's still an Arkham game. I mean, like, it's kind of hard to fuck up an Arkham game. NBA 2K19, yep, I got one game into that shit, and I was like, yep, never playing 2K again, I got one game into my career, spent my $60 on the game, I didn't upgrade my player yet, because I just wanted to see how I felt, so I played one game, that was it, I got, I think I got the like second quarter or something, and I was like, yeah, I can't fucking play this shit, this game is actually ass, but that, around that time was when I was like spending all of my time on fucking Fortnite and COD, so like that was the only things I was playing, and really it was Fortnite because Black Ops Four started pissing me off too. Oh my head, and then go to twenty sixteen was good. Huh? Well, let's go Ultra. Twenty sixteen. Throwback into the dangerous underworld. Hard a little behind Uncharted 4. Damn, by then we'd already got a 4. When was the first one? The first one was in 2012, was it? It was in 2007, right? Persona 5, Return to Arkham. Wait, what the fuck? Thrust back in the room. Where's the graphics and all DLC? Where I get this at? I'll dead ass, like, I'll dead ass play through this. Where, where do I get this at? Just these two. I, I, these are the two I fuck with the most. Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. Dark Souls 3. I heard this is the best Souls game. I never played it, though. But that's just what I've heard. Bioshock Collection. I never really got into Bioshock for real. I played Bioshock. I played the games. I'm a cutscene. Oh, I was a cutscene skipper. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a... Are you ready to cook? Wait, so you got your beat ready? Ezio Collection, Twilight Princess, I don't, yeah, I, I still never played a Zelda game in my life. Uh, Dry's and Dry, wait, what the fuck? Why the fuck do they, <laughs> that doesn't, get, this can't count, bruh, what the fuck? Why is it just separated from the rest of zombies? Fairy Fencer, yeah, I never, I ain't never heard of that shit. Inside, I don't, I don't think I've ever played it before. Doom was really, oh my god, the multiplayer on Doom was so underrated, bro. Oh my god, bro, I had a good time on Doom, bro. I had a good time on Doom, especially the multiplayer. I feel like not a lot of people talk about that when they talk about Doom games, bro. Titanfall Two was really good. Rest in peace, Titanfall Three. Stardew Valley, I just recently got into it in the last year. Stardew Valley is low key like one of the best cozy games to play, bro. I thought Terraria was going to be it. And Minecraft, honestly, is way stressful than, like, it should be. Minecraft is way too stressful. Stardew Valley is, like, damn near the perfect cozy game to play, bro. I never played Animal Planet, though. So, Animal Planet might be better than Stardew Valley. But, to me, Stardew Valley is, like... <clears throat> you could do anything in the back... Like, you could do anything, have anything playing in the background. Stardew Valley just... It, it's just going to be there, man. Just growing your plants, chilling... No real, like, threat to your life or nothing. Like, shit's... That shit's tough, bro. I fuck with Stardew Valley. I never actually played a Kirby game, I don't think. Oh, I think I played one on DS, but that was it. 
Modern Warfare Remastered. This was really good. Uh, it's a shame we didn't get the rest of them remastered, though. Didn't they drop DLC for Dark Souls 3 in the same month? I mean, in the same year? Oh, that's crazy. Fallout 4, Hasamiku, Project Diva X. Fuck. Warcraft, XCOM. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is my favorite Mortal Kombat game. Mortal Kombat XL. My favorite Mortal Kombat game. Battlefield 1, we, well, I just played this recently on the gaming channel. This is actually really good. I liked it back then too, though. I think this is the last good Battlefield game, in my opinion. 2042 gets overhated, though. Uh, Telltale series. This is really good. This is real. Like, we only played episode one, but, like, it was fantastic. Final Fantasy 15, Hitman, Ratchet and Clank. Oh, wait, this is the remaster Ratchet and Clank, right? Yeah, this is this is really good. I played this. Sorry, it's Metopia. Yeah, I don't know what none of the other games are. I ain't gonna lie. Good crap. Why did they be, why are they separating the zombie fucking maps like that? That's cheating. Like, you just need to save that for another game. Final, F Final Fantasy 15 is really good, too, though. I didn't play it until... No, I played it, but I didn't know what I was playing. That's what it was. I used to just try shit. Like, I used to just download shit off the store, like, playing shit. And that was back when I was a cutscene skipper, so I didn't really know what the fuck 